People talk about creating an innovative environment by failing fast. And that's certainly something to be desired, but I want to talk to you about how you do that. So the first step in trying to build an organization that fails fast is stop overanalyzing. So we've dealt with a lot of CEOs, particularly ones that come from more technical fields like accounting and finance and engineering, where they analyze a project to death, trying to come up with every possible scenario, every possible outcome, and they'll spend three months planning what might possibly happen. More aggressive and innovative companies just jump in and start trying it. And they know they're gonna fail because they have spent almost no t time planning it, but they view every single failure as a learning opportunity. The key thing here is that every little incremental experiment that I do, so this successive approximation to get to the answer, is learning, 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 learning. And they're gonna get to that answer far faster than my engineering friend who spent three months planning it. So fail fast means jump on it, try it, fail, learn, improve. That cycle is gonna get you your answer, get you a much more innovative answer, and get you there more quickly. As Zig Ziglar used to say, you don't wait for all the stoplights to be green before you head to town. And that's exactly the philosophy you gotta take when you're trying to build a fail fast organization. The key is, is every experiment, every trial that I do directionally correct? Does it get me one step or a half a step closer to my final answer? Then yes, let's do it. If it doesn't, then we don't do it. So, Jump in, give it a go, and just substitute for fail to learn. So the faster you fail, the faster you learn.